Time for a bit of a different how-to from us at GMBN. Mm -hmm. We're going to ride this trail absolutely blind and tell what's going through our heads, how we do it. Exactly, it's going to be raw. We've never ridden this trail. We got dropped off at the top of this mountain, Al Fraile, and we're going to drop in. Hey. Right, when it comes to me riding the trail blind, Ooh. I'm always looking ahead, super far ahead. I'm always a bit curious of what's around the next turn. So I'm trying to figure out how to negotiate. Wow, look at that stump there. I'm trying to negotiate the trail ahead of me. Now I know there's a jump here. <laughs> Carry on through. Now this bit of trail, I can actually look way ahead of me because it's quite wide open. Seeing the ground, seeing the terrain. Now it gets a bit steep. Where does the trail go? If I had ridden a trail before, I tend to Oh wow, look at this. Tend to uh, take a corner wide, but for the first time, I'm always on the inside. I'm trying to figure out, whoa! I'm trying to figure, oh! I'm trying to figure out how to take a turn. Plus I go a lot slower than normal. I'm not going fast. I'm not going fast at all in this bit. It's quite predictable. I can see there's turns and berms and it zigzags its way down. But I'm still a bit curious on the grip because I'm new to this place. Wow. And you've got to let the bike talk to your body because riding steep stuff, you don't want to be all stiff. They're quite loose. Let the bike move underneath you and let your body move with your bike. Oh, so sick this bit. Nice. Super rough and bumpy, sandy. It's cool. End of the trail. Time to sum up. Keeping your eyes up. Focus as far up the trail as you can, noticing there's dangers as soon as possible and you can help figure out how you can overcome them. Ride at a safe speed. Don't go in there like a bull in a china shop. Not knowing what's around the corner on a trail can be dangerous. Covering your brakes and keeping control will keep you out of trouble. So my first piece of advice would be to try and find someone to follow. A local would be good, but you might have to ask them to ride at slightly less than 100% because even that can be sketchy. But Blake has obviously never ridden this before. He's in front. And the great thing about it is he's seeing the trail before you get there. You can sort of adjust your line according to his. See how he went wide on the exit there. So I try and improve on that and go a bit wider on the entry so I don't come out quite so low. Same again there, I missed that little route. Oh, do it. What a trail, it's unbelievable. Blake loves a bit of North Shore. Here we go, I can see him lining up. So I went a little bit wider on the entry there than Blake did. Jump a bit further, nicer landing. So you can almost improve on the mistakes that that rider in front is making. Not that Blake makes many, to be fair. What a trail, this is unbelievable. Gabo at Patagonia Bikers has shown us some of the best trails I've ever ridden. Right, wide on the way in, off the brakes. Blake was good then. I tried to roll through a bit quicker than he did, but he was fast. Big pump. Ooh, bit of a drift. 93. I think I did exactly the same as Blake there, to be fair. That's a sick trail. Time to sum up. Watch the rider in front of you, what line they are taking, where they are pumping, pedalling and braking. This will help you with flow. Following another blind rider in front of you, you can also learn from their mistakes, which will help minimise you making a mistake as well as keeping you safe on the trail. So take a look here. We have Garbo from Patagonia Bikes, a rider who knows these trails backwards versus Neil, who is no slouch but has no idea what's coming up. It doesn't look like much at first, but watch Garbo pull away on a seemingly straight piece of trail where there's no huge obstacles. <laughs> oh my god, what an idiot! 
Riding a trail blind but following a local rider can be very intimidating because they know the terrain, they know how and where the trail goes. So it's all about knowing what's coming up in front of you and when and when not to use those brakes. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> So there you go, that's our interpretation on how to ride a blind trail. Uh, if you want to see some more videos from our time here in Patagonia, click on the bottom of the screen. Uh, absolutely loved it. Some incredible trails. Insane. Some insane people. Like yeah. Cairo, but it's been so good. Yeah. Hit the globe to subscribe because you're definitely missing out on some rad stuff. Thumbs up. See ya.